One of the big advantages of an RNAV approach procedure is it's not subject to the same ILS errors that you're gonna find, the same errors with a localizer and a glide slope. One of those errors happens from bouncing or reflection, and it can cause what you often will hear called scalloping. So scalloping is just when that needle starts to scallop back and forth in gentle turns. Though sometimes, as we found, those turns can be a lot more than gentle. And this can be caused from a car that's close to the antenna site or an aircraft taxiing on the ground or an aircraft passing overhead, or maybe they put up a new water tower in town and that water tower is starting to reflect that localizer beam. Any of those things can start to cause coarse scalloping. If you ever see something like this, let air traffic control know. And it's another good reason why flying an RNAV procedure with LPV minimums is oftentimes a better decision than flying the ILS to the same minimums.